Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading, go to my website, angelsouls444.com, and uh, people have been able to work out some very, very deep blocks in their soul's contract and in their timeline by by going to this type of reading. This is not um, a fourth dimensional psychic reading. Angels actually can't go against your free will. So we can bring messages forward to help you be empowered, to guide you, to have your huge epiphanies. But if they were to come in and tell you, you know, no, you have to do this kind of career, that's interfering with your free will, okay? Now that's different than if you need a warning, okay? Um, sometimes that's, if it's not going to mess with your timeline or your free will too much, they will, uh, or at all. But, <laughs> but like, let's say you're about to go take a trip and they got to warn you they'll say no no it's not well aspected now you can still choose to go do that trip but they gave you the heads up does that make sense that's what you get with this type of reading it's not like others okay angelsouls444.com check the description box for upcoming lives of course be respectful and uh yeah if everyone's respectful it's really really fun <laughs> it really is all right confusion we had this for the weekly and this is definitely talking about people we've all been kind of trained to handle things a certain way and now we're realizing that doesn't work this doesn't serve us we're in a very different kind of world now where do we go from here so there is going to be a realization the way you thought your old perceptions we had the perception card a few days ago how you've the lens through which you've operated your life is now cracked, no longer useful, it's got to go, okay? So in that space, there can be some confusion because we have been so trained to have a plan, have a plan. I know when I'm in a space of confusion where things are, I'm kind of in that place of in-between and I'm in limbo and I'm just having to sit in the energy to, to figure out what direction to go and someone has to bring all their stuff to the table and go, well, what's the plan? What are you going to do? What's the plan? Um, to not handle it clearly how you would handle it. Because I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> like, you seem more scared than me. Why are you pressuring me to have a plan? Well, it's empowering. Says who? Pressure is not empowering. It's not empowering at all. When you have done your spiritual practice... It does not mean that your life is perfect. It does not mean that you don't make mistakes. Anybody who tells you that is a fraud. I said it. They are a charlatan. If they act like they've got it all together. If they really had it all together and they were enlightened, they wouldn't need this physical body anymore. Okay? Uh, well, maybe the exception of monks. But listen, hey, yo, they go up to the top of a mountain somewhere. They're not dealing down here. Okay? <laughs> like they're not, Or maybe they are. There's some that are actually among us. But the point here is that... We, don't, we can't allow ourselves to be abused through people's lies, through their falsehoods, through posing as like the perfect whatever, whatever, whatever. And we know that's not true. And it's all just to diminish everybody else so that we don't catch on to their game. So breaking out of that kind of confusion, number one. Two, if, if you feel empowered to get a plan, I still say sit for a minute. Let your energy field restore. Use the energy field to give you inspiration and clarity so you know where to put your energy. Instead of just throwing things out all over the place. You may get it, but it's not going to be nearly what the universe could have helped you with. And it's going to leave you disappointed if it lasts at all. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.